Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Help wanted? Businesses that are hiring should know about the Work Opportunity Tax Credit. Oh yeah, IRS. Well, you should know about the government stay out of my hiring practices rule that I put in place. In any case, first an attempt at a joke. It's my way or the highway. My way or the highway. Fortunately, my way generally is the highway. If anybody wants to walk, do it now. So I guess we can actually go my way and the highway. We've got entirely too many troublemakers here. Since really like, uh, they're the same way. She's with them. Who's them? Them are the same as they. That way everyone's happy. Who is they? They is the walrus. Honestly, why wouldn't you go the highway, which is also my way? I mean, it's the fastest way. That's why they built it. That's why I built this time machine. I give you the chrono trike. Plus, I really don't know any other way. And avoid the blockade. It's the only way. There's no time. Mainly because I'm completely dependent on my phone to tell me where to go. Well, my intuition tells me that way. So I guess my way is actually the phone's way, which is generally the highway. And that's the way we're going, dang it. Marge, I'm sorry, I think it's coming down. No, it's no, coming down, my no, foot. No. That's it, Marge. That's the way we're going. End of story. Coming down, the cable stays, the foot is spoken. IRS Tax Tip 2022-137, September 7, 2022. Businesses hanging up their help wanted signs should be sure to check out the Work Opportunity Tax Credit. This credit encourages employers to hire workers certified as members of any of 10 targeted groups facing barriers to employment. The credit has been extended through the end of 2025. So the 10 targeted groups are. So in other words, if you're hiring someone and you have them, uh, they categorize or they fit into one of the 10 groups, you may get a benefit, a credit related to it. So you might want to check it out. So we got the temporary assistance for needy families, recipients, qualified unemployed veterans, including disabled veterans, formerly incarcerated individuals, designated community residents living in empowerment zones or rural renewal counties, vocational rehabilitation referrals, summer youth employees living in empowerment zones, supplemental nutrition assistance program recipients, supplemental security income recipients, long-term family assistance recipients, long-term unemployment recipients. Certification requirement. To claim the credit, an employer must first get certification that an individual is a member of the targeted group. So if you're going to get a credit for hiring someone in a particular group, you got to be able to verify that they are in that particular group in some way, some shape, some form. They do so by submitting IRS Form 8850, pre-screening notice and certification request for the work opportunity credit. There's a link to that here to their state workforce agency within 28 days after the eligible worker begins work. Employers should not submit this form to the IRS. They should contact their state workforce agency with any questions about processing of Form 8850, figuring and claiming the credit. So once you've got a hiring in place and, and you've verified the person has fallen into one of the categories, then of course the question is, well, how do I get the access to the actual credit? Eligible businesses claim the credit work opportunity credit on their federal income tax return. It is generally based on wages paid to eligible workers during the first year of employment. So as you file your tax return, the income tax return after employer receives form 8850 certification, they figure the credit on form 5884 work opportunity credit. So you might want to check out that form and any related instructions possibly to help you understand the actual calculation of the credit in a bit more detail. There's a link to that here. And then claim the credit on form 3800 business, our general business credit. There's a link to that form as well. Special rule for tax exempt organization. A special rule allows tax exempt organizations to claim the credit only, there's a bold and only here, for hiring qualified veterans who begin work for the organization between 2020 and 2026 after the employer receives the form 8850 certification these organizations 
claim the credit against payroll taxes on Form 5884C, Work Opportunity Credit for Qualified Tax Exempt Organizations. There's a link to that here. Credit limitations on the credits. So for a taxable business, the credit is limited to the business income tax liability. So it's not what we would call like a refundable credit, right? It's going to be limited to your tax liability. Your tax liability can't go below, you know, in essence, zero. They're not going to pay you uh, for the business. If you have a loss, uh, then then it's not, it might not benefit you past the point of the liability. So any credit remaining above the income tax liability is subject to the normal carry back and carry forward rules. So if you have a, you might be able to look into the carry back and carry forward rules when you get into a loss, just like normal when you when you get into a loss, the, the, the question would be the IRS doesn't want to actually pay you for losses. They're only your partner when you have income, right? Because they want a piece of the income. And then the question is, what do you do if you have a loss? Can you get some benefit from it by, by matching it up against uh, future earnings or earnings in the past? And you could take a look at those rules for carry back and carry forward rules. For a qualified tax exempt organization, the credit is limited to the amount of employer social security tax it owes on wages paid to qualified employees. So there's links to some of this information here. If you want to check it out in more detail, there'll be a link to this in the description.